think 5G is really a linchpin technology that other themes are going to be built on top mm. of. So if you think about 5G, it's faster internet, it's more capacity on wireless internet, and it's lower latency, meaning data can kind of move faster without having more time to be processed. So that impacts everything. That impacts us on our cell phones and social media. That impacts augmented and virtual reality. Suddenly data can be streamed really fast. It impacts autonomous vehicles. So suddenly cars can talk to each other much faster and download map information, image information from the web. And it impacts robotics because suddenly you have the industrial internet of things that can be wired together uh, and really rapidly transmit data and interpret it. So 5G is going to be everywhere and it's going to impact everything. And so therefore I think it's just like a really powerful theme that's just starting to emerge this year. Yeah, and it's almost like a ripple effect because like you said, it's going to be uh, dependent on, or other technologies are going to be dependent on that rollout. Exactly. So what would you say, as far as the ETF um, related to 5G, who are some of the standout players in that segment? So we created an Internet of Things ETF, and it's really kind of a play on the 5G space in the sense that you're looking at wearables companies and other kind of device makers that are connected to the Internet. They're going to benefit from the fact that more data can be transmitted faster. Uh, the second is the network service providers. So these are the people that are really kind of creating the piping for 5G so they can connect all mm -hmm. these devices to the internet. And the third thing is the chip manufacturers. So the people building the 5G chips, 5G is going to be everywhere, they need a lot of chips. You know, suddenly toaster ovens are going to be connected to the internet really mm -hmm. quickly. Do mm -hmm. we need it? I don't know, but they'll need <laughs> the chips. So uh, when you put all that together, I think there's really a pretty broad swath of companies that can benefit from this if you look at those three different segments, chip makers, network service providers, and the real kind of device makers. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.